Let's explore plane and solid figures. First, let's take a look at the world in 2D, plane figures. Welcome to my 2D world. Can you spot any plane figures in my room? I have a rectangle, trapezoid, another rectangle, triangle, and some more rectangles, and a circle. Basically, you've been learning the names of the common plane figures for years. A plane figure is any closed two-dimensional shape. An angle is formed by two rays with a common endpoint called the vertex. Angles are found wherever lines and or line segments intersect. Let's check out this practice problem. It says, which is true of a rectangle? Well, let's visualize a rectangle first. The first answer choice says it has no sides of equal length. Well, that's not true because this side and this side are equal, and this side and this side are equal. The second answer choice says it has four curved sides. I don't see any curved sides. The next answer choice says it has only one pair of parallel sides. Well, that's not true because these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel to each other. The last answer choice says it has four right angles. Yep, these four are all right angles, so that must be correct. Hello there. Oh, hey, ready to explore the world of 3D and find some solid figures with me? Come on, just excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to tidy up yet. A solid figure is a three-dimensional figure with length, width, and height. Take this picture of popcorn, for example. It's a solid figure, 3D. I can see it has length, width, and height. The face of a solid figure is any flat surface of that figure. Watch as I take these rectangular faces and put them together. They come together to make a rectangular prism, which is a big old box. Each side of our box is called a face. <laughs> the edge of a solid figure is the line segment where two faces of a solid figure intersect, like here, 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 here. Here are some examples of solid figures. Rectangular prisms. They have all six faces are rectangles and eight vertices and 12 edges. We have cubes. Six congruent square faces. All edges are the same length eight vertices and 12 edges. It's a special case of a rectangular prism. Then we have spheres. All of its points are the same distance from its center. And we have triangular pyramids, square bases, four triangular faces with a common vertex. And they have five vertices and eight edges. Let's try this practice problem. How many faces does a triangular pyramid have? Well, let's think about building one. One, two, three, four, four triangular faces, and a square base. That makes five faces altogether. Hope you've enjoyed exploring plain and solid figures.